Fading adapter number two at the very forward end of the Harmony module. Right there on the, uh, right around the, the center, you can see the Ford hatch. It's got a window in it. You can see a couple of handles. And there's uh, some features that look sort of bronze-ish. Those are the pedals that we were talking about earlier as part of the, the soft capture system. So uh, pretty, pretty wild, too, to see. We're so close that we're getting shadows from the station on Dragon. Wow. And we're getting these views of Dragon's approach from two cameras that are right next to that docking adapter. And the movement's a little, a little jarring at times. Uh, the, these cameras are being commanded by a person at the Cronus console in Mission Control Houston. And they send some, uh, some very basic function commands to the camera, which it then executes automatically. And so they're continuing to follow Dragon in. So we do thank them for their diligence to, to give us these views of this historic moment as we are just less than 30 meters away from docking. Right above the uh, NASA meatball logo, you can see two, uh, excuse me, three of the, the service section Draco thrusters. That's right, 12 in all. So the four of those clusters spread around the vehicle used for a lot of the attitude control and any small translational maneuvers like we just watched Bob and Doug execute with their second manual flight test. Yeah, and actually oriented in a way too where if you were to lose some of those thrusters, you still have redundancy and, and control in those axes. That's, uh, that's part of the reason why they're sort of at the angles that they are. All right, so we should be getting to waypoint two right now. So it looks like we do have that hold. Dragon SpaceX on Big Loop. The ground is go for approach two. We will be enabling the resume shortly. As a reminder, ensure your visors are closed prior to Dragon's departure from the waypoint. And once Dragon is inside, the crew hands off point, retreat and breakout are not permitted. And for your awareness, we have sunset in a little less than 8.5 minutes. Copies all on the big loop. Go for docking. So Doug on uh, on spacecraft confirming their go for docking. They're going to put down their visors. Got some uh, instructions there about the the crew hands-off point that we had talked about earlier. That's a point where we don't want the the crew issuing any commands to the vehicle. It's about uh, just about two meters away from the docking adapter. I believe the number is about 1.7 meters. Station Houston on the big loop. Houston and station are now go for docking. Chris, you can monitor per steps three and four. Three and four in one decimal one zero four. Crew Dragon approach and retreat monitor. I'll be steps three and four. Next dragon on the big loop. Our visors are down. Puppy visors down. With the crew confirming their visors down, we should see the final approach resume. Station dragon on the big loop. We are inbound from approach two. Copy inbound. Station copy. And we're going to be racing that sunset. The approach has resumed. Dragon closing in. We're inside 20 meters. And yeah, that, that crew hands off point uh, should come up in about three minutes or so, uh, right before we get that final docking. It comes about 20 seconds prior, or just about two meters away from the station still. And that's uh, just the crew not issuing any abort commands. At that point, it would be uh, too late and so any aborts would be executed automatically by Dragon itself. So we're closing in at less than a tenth of a meter per second at this point. You can 
can see the, the service section Draco is just doing all these very small, minor attitude corrections. Really, the, the autonomous docking system at work, making sure that the, the uh, vestibule and the soft capture system is lined up with IDA2, it's the international docking adapter. You can see much more clearly there the hinge mechanism for the nose cone. Those four uh, black circles are the forward bulkhead Dracos, not to be used at this time. And then, of course, the, the pedals of the soft capture system. Wow. Dragon on the big loop, we're inside 10 meters. We cannot make out the darkest docking target, but we do see the outline. We copy and concur, 10 meters. All right, we're less than 10 meters away. Again, we're closing at that rate of less than a tenth of a meter per second. We should be just about one minute, 45 seconds away from docking. There is a, uh, a center line camera right in that middle so that you can see where the Ford hatch is uh, and right in the middle of that there's a window and there's a center line camera that is aligned with the center of the vehicle and the center of the docking mechanism. So that is, is what the autonomous docking system is using to line up with uh, sort of a cross hatch, um, cross target on the, the docking port. Again the Ford docking port um, on PMA2, or the pressurized mating adapter. And we are just five meters away. Again, we're racing that sunset. This dragon continues to close, four meters to go. Those shadows of the, of the space station on the vehicle. Yeah, you can actually see the uh, centerline camera pretty clearly there. Um, sort of with the contrast of the, the sun right now. Three meters to go. Two meters. We are inside the hands-off point, the chop, the crew hands-off point. One meter to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon in <laughs> Soft capture confirmed. Stand by for retraction and docking. Stand by. And we just heard it. Soft capture. We have docking. That coming at 7.16 a.m. Pacific time with the station and Dragon flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. You saw a little bit of motion there uh, of Dragon. It was that relative motion that the soft capture system is damping out. Once that motion is, is clear, then uh, the soft capture system will be retract, retracted and uh, Dragon will go for hard capture. Again, if just now tuning in, that soft capture, that docking coming 7.16 a.m. Pacific, 10.16 a.m. over on the East Coast, Dragon and the International Space Station were flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. So that soft capture ring now going to retract. It's one more step on the way to docking complete. Board. Yeah, and so the, the next step here is once, once the soft capture ring is retracted, there are uh, 12 latches that we refer to as hard capture latches. Um, those are what will really create that pressure tight seal. 
between the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station. So once soft capture is complete, and uh, I believe we'll get that call from from our core here, Anna, then uh, we'll get we'll get confirmation of a hard capture, and uh, the crew, of, of course, aboard have have this information on their displays, so they'll also see indication of hard capture complete. And uh, once those two steps are done, then that's that's docking complete. That's right, and we're, we're expecting to hear some words from everybody. A pretty monumental moment. I mean, for Doug Hurley, he's returning to where he last docked uh, almost nine years ago on the very last space shuttle mission, uh, now commanding the very first commercial spacecraft to deliver astronauts to the International Space Station. That's That's got to be cool for them. Uh, they've, they've mentioned quite a few times that their best friends uh, our favorite dads in space, as we've been calling them. Uh, this is this has got to be really cool for them. It's got to be really cool for their families too, watching this 